and welcome back to Evicted Behind the Scenes. So today we're going to have a look at the mountainside altar, which uh, I think is, is the term that me and Niles are using uh, for it. You'll see it suddenly appear at some point in the series. I have no idea when, because I can't remember when we built it. It was like a month ago at least. The main series has just shown some circle magic of like the lightning storm and things like that, and we're ramping up. So we figured we need another altar away from home, uh, which is why we decided to build this. And also, it, it just, it's just nice. It's just nice, all right? It's, it's cool. So let's look at how to make the mountainside altar. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a lot of dirt. Notice this is all done in creative mode because there's no way in hell you would be able to do this because of the flying thing and also because the amount of dirt you'd need it would take way too long. This took us about, I don't know, an hour, two hours to build anyway. Um, so definitely worth doing it in creative mode. This is probably the only time that we've, quotation mark, cheated if you call building this kind of thing uh, cheating. Anyway, um, so first thing you want to do is you want to build a dirt ledge. Now the reason you want to do it with dirt and not with stone is because the altar will pick up on dirt. It will not pick up on stone. Also, you're going to want to plant things later, so do it in dirt. You want to sort of build a large semicircle that's attaching to the mountainside. It doesn't have to be neat, you just have to sort of have a general outline and you can you can fix it as you go. Now you want to sort of be aiming for um, like a 17 by 17 sort of block size because I think the biggest altar circle is 15 by 15 and you want space for plants to grow and have a little bit of wiggle room if you're, I don't know, summoning a demon and need to run away, something like that. Uh, which you will you will need to do, trust me, I've been there. If you're not quite sure whether it's going to fit, you can always use chalk right on the dirt so you can see where you're going and make it smaller or larger if needed. Once you have done that, you need to add a gradient of blocks. That's a terrible terminology for it. You basically need to make sure that the dirt scales nicely into the side of the, the mountain or whatever it is you're building it on. So just sort of taper it down a little bit underneath so it looks a little bit more like a naturally occurring overhang as opposed to just a platform that you've built. Make sure as well that you put some dirt in the uh, in the sides of whatever it is you're attaching it to so it looks more organic as well. If you put dirt on the side of the mountain. Um, you could see on the mountain we've got this dirt on it already so it's it's perfectly feasible that this would have been there which is good. Once you've done that and you've got your, your dirt overhanging and you're pretty happy with the shape of it you can go underneath and fill it out a little bit more. You kind of want to have it, I'd probably say you want to have it three or four squares deep anyway and you'll see why in a bit. Trust me it's actually a fantastically brilliant idea and I can't believe we didn't think of it for the original altar. I might have to go back and put it in. Once you're pretty happy with your platform, you think you've got it right, you can start putting down the circles like I've done at the original one with the wood. Use a wood of your choice from vanilla or witchery trees that could be rowan, hawthorn or alder or things like birch, oak, pine all that kind of stuff. Don't use stuff from other mods, like the cherry biome stuff doesn't work, uh, rubber trees wouldn't work, for example. Um, so line your circles with that. A, it means you're never gonna have to draw them again without having, like you don't ever have to think it through, which is fantastic when you get to the big circles, because if you screw it up, it's a pain in the ass to go back and fix it. So it makes things a lot easier if you're trying to do something quick, trust me. Once you've got that wood down, you can start laying other things down. So start putting some saplings down. Again, vanilla or witchery. Ping a few of those down, get a bit of bone meal if you can, and get a little sort of forest set up. Once you've done that, you can start sticking down vines, you can start sticking down Spanish moss, you can start sticking down mushrooms and vanilla flowers. Use that space you've got below you as well. Put vines on that, because the altar will read those. And it also gives this really nice hanging, canopy thing that covers the ugliness that is dirt again it will make it look a little bit more organic if it's got all these lovely vines because it's very much like the jungle sort of biomes little tip as well if you want to make sure that you've got some sort of light source but it's not obvious you can't go wrong by putting glowstone at the top of the trees and then covering it up with some leaves because then you have these actually reasonably nice light sources without it being torches everywhere once you've done all that, 
you'll be pleased to hear you can move on to the planting stage of other stuff. So make sure you've got a bit of water and start sticking down some crops, some mandrakes, some snowbells, any old crops will do. So long as, as I said, so long as they're vanilla, water artichokes as well, so long as they are witchery or vanilla crops, you can stick them up there and the altar will love them. What you can also do, and this is why I said make sure that you've got a fairly deep build when you do the dirt because if you've built down far enough and you've made a nice regular curve what you should be able to do is what you can see me doing here which is make an underground garden if you've got enough light stuff is going to grow there so stick some torches in there stick some water in there get your hoe get a washing can if you've got it if you're using your cast complete stick some belladonna in some mandrake in all of that stuff the more variety the better it seems with the altar. It loves variety. You'll find it will boost your altar immensely. Obviously, don't forget to put things on like the chalice, like the candelabra or a torch if you haven't got a candelabra yet, and you'll find that boosts it even more. Make sure you put a fence around so you don't fall off. Um, and also make sure you've got a walking path up to it if you don't have any sort of legit way of flying. So we've carved a little path into the mountainside and put some fences down. We've also put some gates down to make sure that stuff doesn't just find its way up there by accident. And there you have it. And that is how you build a mountainside altar. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the main series of Evicted, which is on Wednesdays and Saturdays on my channel and Mondays and Fridays on Nalsies. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Bye.